recruitment of fully government organization so recruitment also very important thing so as i told you earlier uh, recruitment should be done by individual organization as per the public service commission guidelines so as i told you earlier they, when they want to recruit the engineers they call the applications for the uh, all the engineers in the central government requirement requirement of all the engineers then the after that the uh, uh, centrally they are recruiting actually for these organizations also recruitment should be done by individual organization is handled by centrally and the remuneration salaries and other allowances benefits is decided by the ministry of public administration so individual organizations cannot decide those things it should be done it should be decided by the public administration that's why even this uh, sometimes you can see that this trade union actions are there in some department they are demanding for some allowances and the benefit so if they give to a particular uh, department it should be applicable to all Uh, departments so therefore the public administration management is very difficult because the it is doing the centrally and the if any change is happen it is applicable to all organizations of that category then <clears throat> uh, recruitment for the uh, semi government it should be done according to the public enterprise department circulars and the also there is a something called the management services department the recruitments are done as per the for the semi government the recruitment should be done through the, the guidelines of the management services department uh, there is some flexibility there that is the uh, when they want to recruit the people uh, they have a card this card should be approved by the management services department that's the management services department approval card that's called the msd or sometimes called the department of management services dms so if you want to uh, increase the card position you can get the approval from the management services department and uh, recruit them but the the all guidelines are given by the management services department that guideline for the scheme of recruitment is so are so what are the education qualification experience required what is the salary scale then they have different salary scales the higher level we have the hm salary scale higher management and the middle level the the they have the mm salary scale then you have the junior management jm salary scale like that so the, they have some particular salary scale Uh, and the relevant allowance but with the special approvals the salaries in these scales also can be changed for the organization wide sometimes they get a cabinet approval and change those things so that is how the the recruitment parts are done in the government uh, semi government organizations <clears throat> okay uh, 